Well, hello, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. Mike here, back from my adventures out west. Um, we're going to get back into some e-waste videos here. Um, the, the western videos are still going to be coming out because I couldn't upload from out there. Out at our Wyoming place or fossil hunting in Nebraska, there was no way to upload. The internet was just too weak. So uh, they'll be coming out, but we're getting back into the e-waste stuff, too. And we're going to start with this stuff right here. And where did this stuff come from? Well, my friend Rick in Georgia uh, contacted me while I was on the road and said, Hey, Mike, I'm going to be getting out of the e-waste recycling business for a while, concentrate on some other stuff. He says, I'm going to send you some boxes. And I'm like, okay. He says, don't talk bad about me on the video once you get the boxes. So kind of makes me wonder what's in the boxes. Um, so I guess we got to open them up and see. Now this one came kind of broken open partly, so I'm hoping not too much spilled out. Um, as I unpack it, you'll have to watch Rick and tell me if anything's missing. So uh, let's get down to it. Let's uh, let's open these boxes and see what my friend Rick in Georgia, Georgia USA by the way, has sent me. Yeah, he's going to be concentrating on other stuff for a while. So, he's sending me a bunch of his e-waste. What's in here? Oh my, yeah, this is just like gold-plated connectors. Lots and lots of gold-plated connectors. USB, gold-plated pins. Uh, that's... Uh, SATA connectors off of uh, hard drives, just all kinds of little gold-plated connectors in here. It looks like he's been uh, depopulating boards and throwing all the gold-plated stuff in a bag here. So that's, that's our first bag, and there's a lot more bags in here. So let's see. Uh, this feels like maybe more of the same. Yeah, uh, power connectors for SATA drives, uh, PATA connectors. Uh, miscellaneous connectors. This all this stuff has gold on it. It's all, it's all gold plated. Well, thank you, Rick. Yeah, more gold plated stuff here. Oh, I'm gonna have to get some buckets to dump all this stuff in. What do we got here? Well, this bag opened up and spilled all over on the inside. Um, let's see here. More gold plated, some gold plated boards. Looks like maybe some laptop parts here. Oh, yeah. Um, BGA chips. Nice. Look at this. Lots of BGA chips. Some other chips. Basically, miscellaneous IC chips. I got a feeling, yeah, IC chips and LEDs. It looks like most of them have spilled out into the bottom of the box. But that's cool. Thank you, Rick. Um, you know, I see chips. I love them. That's where I get most of my gold from. Looks like there were a lot of LEDs in there, too. They're scattered all through here. Or maybe the LEDs were in a separate bag. Because here's a bag. Yeah, this is more gold-plated stuff. I'm definitely going to have to uh, do an Eco Goldex. Um... Do another Eco Goldex uh, batch because all this stuff, this stuff needs to go through uh, the gold plating stripper, the Eco Goldex gold plating stripper, because this is all gold plated bits and pieces off of circuit boards. But there's a lot of other stuff in here too. It looks like we got tandem capacitors, we got LEDs, uh, we got some small IC chips. Yeah, so this is, I think. I think maybe uh, Rick has been depopulating boards maybe with an air hammer. I don't know. He didn't go into a lot of detail about what this stuff was going to be. I haven't seen anything yet I need to cuss him out for, though. Uh, oh, okay. This Maybe this had the LEDs in it, because the lid's completely off of it, and there's a few LEDs in it, but there's, the box is full of loose LEDs. What's in here? Oh! Quartz crystals and crystal oscillators, including gold band crystal oscillators. Oh my goodness. 
So there's going to be a lot of silver and some gold here. Thank you, Rick. My goodness. Oh, what else have we got? I mean, it's just, it goes on and on. Uh, let's see, we got a riser card. Oh, LEDs are going everywhere. I'm going to have to sweep up. Um, uh, got some more BGA chips. Uh, it's like gold corner BGAs. My favorite things in the world because they have a lot of gold. Thank you, Rick. And, oh, ooh, yeah, LEDs flying everywhere. More BGA chips. Um, these are the kind... These are a lot of flip chips in here. These are the kind that really don't have much of any precious metals, but I do see some uh, some bottoms from Gold Corner BGA chips in here. Okay. What is UPS did not treat your package kindly, Rick. It's kind of beat up. Keyboard! Keyboard stuff for silver. Okay, yeah. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is just stuff with the keyboard mylars that are silver coated. So I should be able to just soak these in dilute nitric acid and strip all the silver off. Easy peasy. Thank you, Rick. I uh, got some more miscellaneous boards. Wait, maybe from switches? The big circuit boards in here. Oh yeah. That's that's an old school, that's like a uh, 386 or 486 motherboard there. And here's a Pentium class motherboard. Ooh, with built-in Wi-Fi, it looks like. Is that Wi-Fi? No, that is a 60 gig SATA drive. Interesting, yeah. Okay. That's a keeper. And there's just so much stuff in here. Oh, look at this. MLCCs. A little tub of MLCCs. Uh, what is this? Ah, just little gold plated boards from laptops and stuff. Wi-Fi cards, whatnot. Very nice, very nice. Oh, SIM cards. A whole baggie of SIM cards. Wow. Ah, uh, what's in here? This is the whole bottom of this box. I don't know if it'll show up. It's just full of LEDs. Those LEDs must have come out of that jar that opened up. What do we got here? Oh, card readers, point of sale units. Okay. I'm sure they've got something good in them. Let's see. There's a note here. Hi, Mike. I have about 500 of these E point boxes. If you are interested in them, let me know and I will make arrangements to get them to you. Rick. Thank you, Rick. Well, I'll take a few of them apart and see if they... You know, they got security screws, but they won't slow me down much. I'll get them apart and uh, see if there's anything good in them, and I'll let you know, Rick. So, that's the first box, and that's the light box. This one is heavy as all get out. So let me clean the bench off a little bit, make some room, and we'll see what's in this other big box from Rick. Okay, there's LEDs everywhere. I'm going to have to sweep up. Collect those. Let's see what's in this one. This one got a little bit crushed, but at least it didn't break open and spill any of its contents. Let's see what's in here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Just PC boards. There's got to be a few hundred of them in here. All kinds of PC boards. Some cable. Wow, Rick. Wow. Everything. Everything has IC chips on it. Everything has gold plating on it. I mean, look at the connectors. I don't know if that's showing up. Just hundreds of gold plated pins in there. And there's a bunch of these boards in here. 
you everything. Everything has gold plating. Everything has IC chips. It's wow. That is pretty amazing. Thank you, Rick. The one is oh, was so heavy. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. Looks like you took apart some switches. I don't see a brand name on it. Those aren't Cisco type connectors. Dell. Okay. Dell switches, I guess. Ah, and that's that's uh that's a touchpad from a laptop right there, and there should be a lot of gold plating on this. In fact, I can see it around the edges of the solder mask. Okay. All right. Well, this is going to take a while to process. I think a lot of this stuff should probably go straight through like the Eco Gold X gold stripper to get all the gold plating off, and then maybe depopulate the boards and get the IC chips. That's probably how I'm going to have to deal with this stuff. And uh, that's probably the best way. Because I don't, I don't like to depopulate boards before I put them through the gold stripper. Like this board right here has just got gold plating all over it on both sides. And if I try to depopulate it in my kilns like I normally do, um, the solder will run over the top of the gold plating. And trap it. I wonder, some of these boards might be fully gold plated too. I might have to, uh, I might have to strip the uh, solder mask off some of them and see. So, I don't even know what this is. Programmer port, Honeywell. Whatever it is, it's got a lot of gold plating on it. Like some sort of removable module. I don't know. Oh, and there's another one. And there's more. There's a lot of gold plating here. Well, thank you very much, Rick. I, I really uh, am blown away by this. This is amazing. Um, buddy, if there's anything I can do for you, you just let me know, okay? Anything. Let me know. Because this is, this is some amazing stuff you sent me. Wow. Got my work cut out for me. Between Rick and Ken and Jim, I have tonnage of stuff that needs to be processed. I just got to find the time to do it. Holy cow. Yeah. Well, I hope you found this uh, unboxing of all this stuff from, uh, from Rick in Georgia interesting. You know, give it a like, give it a thumbs up if so. And uh, subscribe to see my future videos. In the future, I'll be processing this stuff. So, uh, yeah, subscribe to see those future videos. And check out my second channel, Electric Geek 64, where I deal with um, electronics and retro computing. Um, I don't think any of this stuff's going to wind up on that channel. Well, I don't know. There's some older IC chips there that may get incorporated into some of my projects over there. So who knows? But, yeah, check out my second channel. And, um, wow, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching this one. i got to find a place to store all this stuff until I can process it. And i got to sweep up all these LEDs all over the floor. All right, have a good one. See you in the next video. Bye.